and welcome to the BBB Online PT Virtual Coaching Program. I'm Josh and I'll be your coach for this session. So today I want to discuss the nutrient facts and pretty much the labels and the food labels that we see every day. I want to explain how to read one so when you're out shopping, you know what to do. Now I understand that reading nutrient labels can be hard. They can be very cryptic when you're actually reading them. What I've actually done, I've actually created a hybrid version of an Australian and a US kind of nutrient fact label box. So if you're looking at it going, oh, I've never seen one of those before, this is why. I wanted to make one that looks and represents so everyone from all across the world can use it. So let's start. Number one, start here. Where you can see it highlighted blue, this is where you check for your servings. If you notice that there's multiple servings per package, then assess and judge if you're going to be eating one, two, or multiple servings, and then multiply that by the total calories per serve. Now two, highlighted in green. Now depending on your country, it will be displayed similar to this. US usually displays the one up the top, and Australia usually represents it as energy. But at least you can see how many kilojoules and how many calories is per the serve. Now three, Purple, located in the middle. You can't, you can't miss that one. <laughs> now, this is your daily intake values, and it's very important to either increase or limit certain nutrients in your diet. Now, for example, you can see sugar. Sugar is 22%. And as you can see up the top, where it says servings per package, it says five. Now, if you ate the whole box, everything in one day, that means you'll be eating 110% of your sugar intake based on a 2000 calorie diet. So this is why it's very, very important to check the serving sizes and assess if you're going to eat one, two or multiple servings because, hey, you could be eating 110% of your sugar intake or you could be eating multiple, multiple, multiple calories that you don't need. Now four, in red that as you can see, now you want to limit these nutrients because eating too much of this can have some serious health risks to leading to heart disease, to some cancers, even high blood pressure, and it's going to be really bad for your overall health and fitness. Eating too much fats and too much sugars is probably going to lead to diabetes and you being overweight or obese. So limit these when possible. Try to limit them to below 100% of your daily intake. Now five, in yellow. Now these are your key essential vitamins. These are the nutrients that you want in your diet and more of. I'm not saying eat above 100%, but try to eat enough to reach that 100% of your daily intake. And remember, this is based on your calories as well. And six, this is a footnote. We don't get this in Australia, or we don't get it on most packages, but it actually shows you the nutrients based on a 2000 calorie diet and also 2500 calorie diet. Now this footnote isn't specific to the nutrient facts of the actual product. This is just a generalization of how much you should be eating per a 2000 or a 2500 calorie diet. Now a few tips. When selecting food with the labels that you see, try to opt for something healthy. Like, for example, if you're going to be purchasing a packaged cereal, you can choose to eat that cereal, or how about you cook something, something healthy, something fresh for breakfast instead. Now this is a big one. Be aware of the sugars, as there's different recommendations from all over the world. I've actually found that some packages suggest between 60 grams of sugar to 120 grams of sugar, and it's really, really confusing. Just so you know, the WHO, the World Health Organization, recommends limiting sugar to only 24 grams per day. 24 grams equals about five teaspoons of sugar. Now, remember when reading these nutrient labels, you know, the first step is reading the nutrient facts. The second step is going through each level that I've just explained. And the third step, which is very, very crucial, is looking through the actual ingredients list and try to find any hidden or anything that is there which could represent sugars, fats, or chemicals that you don't want in your diet. If you've been keeping up with all the modules, we've actually released so many helpful articles and helpful documents like this, which you can find in the resource sections in the weeks before. So go find them, go look at them, print them out, put them on your wall and study them. Now that's all for me guys and girls. If you need anything or want anything or you want me to help you, 
please let me know. Send an email, send a text, do something, get in contact with myself or the team so we can help you become the best possible version of yourself. Bye for now.